today we're looking at the seven segment display for Monk Makes, who were kind enough to provide us with this unit for today's video. This is the newer version of the device and comparing it to the previous version, we can see that it has been slimmed down significantly and the LEDs have been switched from green to red. In our class Microbit project so far, this device has always been a popular choice of tool and the new version pops out that little bit more. The display is comprised of four LED panels, each of which is themselves comprised of the seven segments and a dot in the bottom corner. Each of these panels can display a single character or a number at a time. The nature of the seven segment display means that they're very good at displaying digits 0 to 9, but so, sometimes they struggle representing every character or punctuation mark. So wiring up the device is pretty straightforward. We have our data connection, our 3 volt and our ground. So let's go ahead and get it ready for some code. We want to import the custom code for this device so we can follow the link provided by Monk Makes. I've placed it in the description below. The link takes us to a sample project that we can duplicate into our own space by clicking on the edit button. So this simple project counts upwards from zero every second. We can see that in our code library we now have a 7 segment section. Looking at the code it is relatively simple to get up and going. The three blocks at the end are important for initialising the display by telling the microbit which data pin we are connecting it to. In our case we are connecting to pin 0. We can write numbers or strings to the screen or alternatively we can scroll strings. Let's reconstruct the simple counter program. Our display is connected to pin 0 and we insert a short delay that allows the microbit to communicate and initialize the display before we send it any data. If we don't do this we could end up with scrambled messages. We also clear the display at the start in case there is any leftover information on the display from the previous programs. We create a variable called count to keep track of the number. We write the count to the display, we wait a second and then we add 1 to the count and then repeat. When it comes to counting down, we can adapt the existing counting code. We set our initial count value to our starting point, let's say 10. We change our code to take away one each time from count, but this time we want to respond when the countdown reaches zero. So we can use some logic to check our count each time and when it runs out, we'll just display some dashes. The 7 segment display is a really useful little addition to any microbit project. I've included a link in the description to another project from Monk Makes, which uses the display as a 24 hour clock that can be set by the user. It's definitely worth checking out the code and seeing how it was put together. A project from my own students that comes to mind is the Smart T-shirt, which contains a pressurised pad capable of detecting when the wearer completed a bench press up. The microbit then radios another microbit to update a 7 segment display which was used to count the reps and show the user in their field of vision. You'll find links to the existing code as well as suppliers of the 7 segment display in the description. Thanks again to Monk Makes for supplying the device to us for demonstrating.